Hi, my name is Carson Mercier. I'm a senior at Dos Pueblos High School. The following is a clip from my podcast called Turning Two. On this episode, recorded on February 21st, I talk with my friend Greg Marmo about his struggle with mental health in baseball and how he overcame it. I hope you enjoy. Through the past two years or, or so, how would you say that you've really been able to deal with adversity? Because I know last year it was a struggle for you. Last mm-hmm. year, it, it was rough. There's no no way around it. You can't beat around the bush. Like it was a really rough season. How, how were you able to, to bounce back and, 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 you know, commit D one now? Yeah. So coming to IMG was probably the biggest part. I, I came here, change of setting was huge for me. A new coaching staff was also huge for me and new players around me, but my dad and I made an agreement is our agreement was I'm going to go see a mental a mental conditioning person. So IMG has them. They've had them for the past couple of years. And I made a promise to him that I would go every week, twice a week, once a week, depending on my schedule and just talk to her and try to see if we can, you know, get some good habits going. And I have to say that has helped me so much. Um, Just being in the box and playing in the infield and dealing with people around me, as you know, baseball is super super mental and if you're not in the right head space mind space head space um you're never gonna have success and that was the biggest thing I learned just from my transition from DP to IMG we've talked a lot on negative things already what was like a positive thing in Little League because it can't have all been bad you know Little League you quit right or not even Little League but just growing up like good baseball memories that that made you keep going because I think a lot of people you know um deal with adversity deal with like bullying if you want to say on a team and then they're just done with it why did you keep going you know why did you keep playing I love that game so much um just being out there every time I think about little league I think about all-stars being out there getting that game-winning home run that game winning single that double that gets three RBIs to to tie up the game the smell of the grass the competition against Dos Pueblos Little League being at GV just all of that stuff made me love the game so much and people around me saying stuff and quote unquote bullying me wasn't going to stop me from doing what I love right and what What's the difference in not ta- – I don't really exactly know how to say this, but what's the difference between teammates at, at places you've played at in the past and now at IMG? What's the difference there? The love for the game is way different. Um, everybody at IMG is there because they love the game and they want to play in the next level. So there's a different amount of competitiveness throughout the team – and love and what I didn't like about you know the high school I was at is there wasn't that love for the game throughout the whole team it was in like three or four guys and that's about it and it kind of made the group a little toxic I know no high school team's gonna have everybody on board but to have everybody in one space love the game and want to go as far as possible is a really cool thing. And I think that was the main difference between uh, both of my high schools. Was it difficult for you to move from your hometown across the country, you know, 3000 miles away to Bradenton, Florida? It actually wasn't that bad. Um, I was an only child at that point because everybody was in college or out of college. So leaving my nieces and nephews and, a couple friends, mostly, you know, my, my co my host of this podcast was probably the hardest part, but I stayed in touch with you and I stayed in touch with my nieces and nephews so much. Like we FaceTime and talk on Snapchat every single day. So I felt like you were always there with me and supporting me. So it wasn't that big of a change. Um, being at one of the best high schools, in the country definitely helps uh, with my transition.